When Barry Edwards sets his mind to something, he sticks with it. His get-her-done attitude has landed him top spots in triathlon and Ironman competitions. And while training in his New Orleans hometown, he enjoys watching his favorite program. Watching the 700 Club on Skinny Wednesday and <laughs> see what Christy and Pat had to say about wellness. But it's always been a passion of mine to stay fit and healthy. So I love swimming, biking, running. His professional life reflects his competitive nature. When Barry started an audio-visual company years ago, he received lots of recognition and awards. But Barry's success ended abruptly after 9-11. Business came to a halt, and the debt began to grow. As a Christian, Barry began to question God. It was frustration, a lot of questions, asking God why, what, what have we done wrong, and felt like a failure. It was embarrassing, because I'd never been there in my entire life. Barry was especially troubled because he had always tithed on his business, but now faced $750,000 in debt. We were scratching our heads wondering, why, God, why? You know, when, God, when? How are we going to get out of this mess? During this difficult time, his wife Susan turned to the power of prayer. I prayed for Barry continually and I spoke the word of the Lord over him. I would go to the Bible and, and pray um, for him and pray that he would have wisdom. Barry says God began showing him that he had been putting the business first. I took the business off the pedestal and not have it be an idol and decided just to focus on my relationship with the Lord and strengthen that and not idolize uh, material things. And when I did that, I felt a sincere change in my heart. There was just a cry in his spirit for worship and just really getting before the presence of God to where I think prior to that, uh, it had been a lot of work and accolades and accomplishment. Their audiovisual business started to grow and the Edwards immediately increased their giving. I know that that change was truly a result of my change of heart. It wasn't anything I did different in my business management. There was no new customer accounts. There was no change in the economy. The change was truly God opening doors as a result of my trusting in Him. But the Edwards financial problems were far from over. They still faced $750,000 in debt. They considered bankruptcy. I felt like, don't do it, Barry. Don't throw in the towel yet. Hold on, hold on, help us on the way. So with 750000 in debt, I still had peace. Then Katrina hit. The Edwards home was spared, but they lost all their inventory at the business. When the insurance check came in, it was for $750,000. The Edwards decided to pay off their debt in full. So it was a major miracle that God took what was meant for evil and turned it for good for our case. The Edwards started their business from scratch. Friends in the industry from around the country began sending them inventory and cash to rebuild. It was such um, a, a comforting feeling to know that these people were out there that loved you and cared for you. And beyond just caring and praying for you, they were going to supply your needs. The Edwards continue to increase their giving and are now members of the Chairman's Circle. You can never outgive God. You can always trust in God, no matter how deep you go in debt, no matter how bad your financial situation is, no matter how you're struggling to meet, make ends meet, God will provide. 